Have you ever wondered how much living in the picturesque town of Port Perry, Ontario would cost? If yes, you're watching the right video. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Cody Sturgis. I'm a realtor from the Durham region and with me, you can experience the difference. Port Perry is known for its vibrant and historic downtown, scenic countryside, and beautiful waterfront with easy access to swimming and boating and other great water activities. But how much does it actually cost to live there? In this video, we'll talk about the cost of living in Port Perry, Ontario. Make sure you watch this video until the end as I'll be sharing a bonus tip with you that will give you the clarity for you to make an educated decision for your move. So let's not waste any more time and let's get started. All right, let's start with number seven. Let's talk about the housing costs in Port Perry, Ontario. When you choose to move to a place, the first thing you're asking yourself is, how much does it cost to live here? And how much does it cost to buy a house? A lot of people talk about the average home cost, but what does that even mean? The average home cost is adding up the prices of all of the houses in a town and then dividing that by the number of houses. This gives us the idea of what the average house costs in that town. In Port Perry, the average detached home costs around $1.1 million, with houses staying on the market for 42 days on average. Coming to number six, let's talk about the cost of groceries in Port Perry, Ontario. Food has been an important factor for mankind, with it being a primary reason for many wars. Today, food is available at your nearest grocery store in exchange for money, but for exactly how much can you get groceries in Port Perry? Groceries in Port Perry are around 13% higher than the national average. This high cost is because Port Perry is a small town and the cost of shipping can be higher. Additionally, Port Perry has a smaller population and the cost of goods and services is higher due to the lower demand of larger cities. Moving on, let's move on to number five. Let's talk about the cost of utilities in Port Perry, Ontario. You bought a house and you have higher cost of groceries to eat. But wait, there seems to be something missing. Yes, I'm talking about utilities. Utilities are one of the most important things to make sure you live comfortably with heating, air conditioning, and lights. Basic utilities like electricity, heating, cooling, water, and garbage are around $184 for the average home in Port Perry. While the monthly internet plan can start at about 50 bucks and it can move up to 150 for more premium plans and packages. This shows utilities, though a bit higher than the average, are something you need to consider and put in your monthly budget. Now, coming to number four, let's talk about the cost of transportation. Transportation is essential to calculate the cost of living. Whether you're a worker or a student or you're living the retired life, transportation is a must for you. Getting around in Port Perry isn't that costly. Currently, as of this video, gas is about $1.51 a liter. If you're looking to pay a little less for gas, you can go to the reserve on Skugag Island, which many do making it reasonably affordable. Gasoline is around 3% cheaper than the national average in Port Perry. The city also offers a variety of public transportation systems, such as buses, which are oftentimes cheaper than driving your car when you factor in the maintenance, insurance, and other expenses of vehicle ownership. Now, moving on to number three. Let's talk about the cost of healthcare. No one likes getting sick, but unfortunately it's not something we get to choose when and where and how we get sick. Wouldn't that be nice if we did? Affordable health care is an important parameter in deciding the cost of living of a town. 
In Port Perry, a doctor's visit costs somewhere around $104, which even though is slightly costlier than the national average, basic OHIP coverage is afforded to all of us and you aren't paying this directly out of your pocket, usually indirectly through our taxes. Port Perry also has a wide range of public health services providing low cost or free health care to those in need. The Port Perry Medical Center and Port Perry Hospital, which I have spent way more than my fair share at, and I'm alive today because of this wonderful hospital, are some great examples. All in all, Port Perry provides affordable health care options for those in need with or without health insurance. Now, moving on to number two. Let's talk about the cost of childcare. In Port Perry, Ontario, the cost of childcare can be a significant part of a family's budget. If you have a child in a full day private preschool, you're looking at a monthly expense starting at 950 bucks. These costs highlight the investment parents make in their children's education right from the early years which can be quite significant. It's always important to plan for these expenses to ensure a smooth journey for your child's educational growth. And last but not least, number one, we have taxes. In Ontario, the tax system is progressive, meaning the more you earn, the higher your tax rate. Individual tax rates range from 5.05% to 13.16%, but that's not the whole story. When you combine provincial and federal taxes, the total tax rate can be anywhere from 20.05% to a hefty 53.53%. This combined rate is known as the marginal tax rate. As your income increases, not only does your tax rate increase, but you also pay more taxes on the income that falls into the higher tax bracket. It's a system designed to distribute the tax burden fairly across different income levels. Now, the bonus tip. As promised, the bonus tip is the top employers in the area. Port Perry, Ontario has a bunch of different places where people work. One big place where lots of folks work at is the Great Blue Heron Charity Casino. There are also important places where people have jobs like local retail stores, the local hospital called Lakeridge Health Port Perry, the Port Perry Medical Center, and the offices for Scugog Township. A number of factory jobs are available as well. If you're looking for a job, you might find postings for all kinds of work, like teaching, administrative, building, or mechanical jobs. Now, if you found value in this video and you'd like to see more content, click on the boxes on the screen and be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel along with my other socials. Once again, my name is Cody Sturgis. I'm a realtor from Durham region. If you'd like to get in touch with me, my contact information is in the description box below. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. And remember to experience the difference with Cody Sturgis Realtor.